10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, funding is obviously a big issue. I, I don't have a magic crystal, but the money, there is no magic money tree, but somehow we've got to find a way of getting racing that is economically viable. It can't just be funded by owners. The relationship with betting and getting funding of betting, they're serious issues that are you know, way beyond my pay level, my, my level to sort out. And I, I, I don't see, I don't have the crystal ball how that will be solved. But if racing is to survive, it's got to be solved. And the, the final thing is, is I'm, I'm passionate about the horse. I want, to, I, I want to believe that British horse racing will still be amongst the best, if not the best in the world, that the bloodstock and the thoroughbreds we see racing in this country will continue to be uh, seen as the best and we will see champions like Frankel, uh, you know, all the names you, could, you would want to come up with in, in future generations. Uh, and leaving one po last point about that, if you look at a program like Mastermind, the number of times you get questions about horse racing on Mastermind is absolutely staggering. Let's hope that in 20 years' time, Mastermind is still asking questions about the sport we all love. Well, thank you, Stephen. Thank you for your wish list. And thank you indeed for your time. You talked earlier on about being passionate and you hoped the passion would come through. It certainly has today. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I had a gut feeling Stephen would be an interesting and charismatic guest. And I don't think we were disappointed, were we, Phil? No, no, that was excellent. I, I learned a lot from Stephen there. There was some of the stuff that uh, I was kind of loosely aware of. And yeah, he really sort of helped to boost my understanding of some of the challenges that the race courses and the jockey club have faced over the last 12 months and, and beyond. And so next episode, end of next month, we'll have reached episode number 10, which who knew we'd get into double figures when we started. So look out for that at the end of uh, August. And uh, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, if you are able to follow us on your chosen podcast platform, give us a nice rating or a review and recommend us to a friend, that would be great. We'd really appreciate it. Well, that just leaves me to thank co-host Phil Boyle, special guest Stephen Wallace, the RSA for sponsoring Inside the Rails, producer Callum Ronan from Callum Ronan Creative, and you, the listeners. Crowds are back on the race course. Glorious Goodwood is just around the corner. And for all those horses who love to hear their hooves rattle, the weather is hot, hot, hot. Goodbye. <laughs>